Are you feeling tired and exhausted all the time? Do you have a loss of appetite, irritability, headache, or shortness of breath? These might be signs that your iron levels are quite low. Luckily, there are some simple tests that you can take to find out if your iron levels are in check, and I'm here to show you how. Iron is an essential mineral that our bodies use to build and transport red blood cells, which are responsible for carrying oxygen throughout our bodies. Having too little iron can lead to a health condition known as iron deficiency, anemia, which can cause a variety of symptoms such as feeling tired or run down, a loss of appetite, irritability, headaches, dizziness, and shortness of breath. Thankfully, there are tests available to make sure your iron levels are where they need to be. One of the most common ways to test for iron level is through a blood test. This test is typically used to measure the levels of hemoglobin, which is a type of protein found in red blood cells that binds to oxygen and carries it throughout our bodies. The results of the test will indicate whether or not your hemoglobin levels are low, which could suggest that your iron levels are also low. This test can be done in a doctor's office or at a lab and is usually covered by most insurance plans. Another way to test your iron level is through a ferritin test. Ferritin is a type of protein that stores iron in our bodies. It's sometimes referred to as the storage form of iron. This test can be used to tell how much iron is being stored in your body and if your levels are too low. This test may also be performed in a doctor's office or at a lab and is also usually covered by most insurance plans. If you are looking for an easy and inexpensive way to test your iron levels, you can always take a home test. Home tests are simple at-home tests that measure your body's iron levels without having to go to a doctor or lab. These tests usually involve collecting a sample of urine or blood and testing it for iron levels. While the accuracy of these tests is not as reliable as a blood or ferritin test, they are a good way to get an overall idea of your iron levels. No matter what method you choose, it's important to remember that it's always best to talk to your doctor before taking any kind of test. Your doctor will be able to give you more detailed information about your specific test and if necessary, refer you to a specialist if needed. Testing your iron levels can be a simple and effective way to make sure your body is running smoothly. If you're feeling any of the common symptoms that may indicate you need more iron, consider taking a test today. Your future self will thank you. If you like this video and find it useful, be sure to hit that subscribe button and click the bell icon so you never miss out on any of our awesome content. Show us some love by liking, sharing and commenting on this video. It really helps us out. Thanks for watching.